Ayodhya Kand, chapter number 112. In this chapter, we are going to see Bharata request the sandals of Lord Rama. And Rama is continuing to instruct Bharata to go back to Ayodhya and rule the kingdom and he will return after 14 years of exile. Now the Acharyas have given an inner detail of Rama's mind at this time. Then he bethought himself that Bharata had not even now abandoned his idea of taking Rama to Ayodhya in spite of his being extorted by Rama and the Devarishis. Therefore it behooves Rama to destroy in him the slightest hope. Therefore he continues in verse 18. Lakshmi Chandra Tapeyadva Himavanva Himam Tyajet Atiyat Sagaro Velam Na Pratignam Ahampeto. The moon may be shorn of its luster, the Himalaya may lose its crown of snow, the ocean may overflow its shores, but I will never go back upon the promise to my father. Verse 19. Kamad va tat lobhad va matra tubyam idam kritam natan manasi kartavyam vartitavyam cha matravat. Your mother has done this, maybe out of her great love to you or out of ambition to rule through you. Do not take it to heart too much, but render her your heartiest and most devoted service. So Rama is basically saying that no matter what her motives are, whether it is out of greed or affection, that should not agitate the mind of Bharata and he should conduct himself as one should towards one's mother. Verse 20 Evam bruvanam Bharata kaushalya sutam abravit Tejasa Aditya Sankasham Pratipach Chandra Darshanam Who ever heard of turning Rama from his purpose more radiant than the sun? Bharata, who knew better than others that Rama was the fittest to rule the kingdom wisely and that he deserved best the respect and worship of all beings whose hearts he gladdened as a full moon, followed the advice of Maharishi Vashishta, who ever compassed the welfare of himself and Rama, and said, Verse 21 Adi roha arya pada bhyam paduke hem bhushite ete hi sarva lokasya yoga kshemam vidasyata. O oh, beloved brother, I pray you place your lofty feet on these sandals inlaid with gold. They have the power to secure every good to all the worlds. So let us dissect this statement quite beautifully. The first one is that he calls Rama as Arya. Those noble feet are the ones that have to be placed on the sandals. How are those sandals? Hema Bhushite. They are decorated with gold. And why are those sandals very special? Because... Because Sarva Lokasya Yoga Kshemam, they can give gain and security and peace and happiness to all the worlds. However, why? How is it possible for those Padukas to do that? Because Rama has Adiroha, he has mounted on those Padabhyam. He has mounted on those sandals that are decorated with gold. So Rama is the one that is providing the gain and security and peace and harmony to all the worlds. And the medium through which he is acting is his royal sandals. Verse 22. So Adiruhya Naravyagra Padukehi Avaruhyacha 
प्रायच्छत सुमहातेज भरताय महात्मने Rama granted Bharata's prayer and kept his own promise by doing so. Rama, the best of men, the person with great brilliance, put on and then put off the sandals and then presented them to the magnanimous Bharata. Verse 23. So, Padake sa pranamya ramam vachanam abravit chatur desha hi varshani jata chira dharo hayam. फलमूलाशनो वीर भवेयम रघुनंदना भारत वेंट अराउंड देम इन रेवरेंस एंड रेजिंग हिज हैंड्स अबव हिज हेड टुक अ टेरिबल वाव टेन इयर्स एंड फोर शैल आई स्टे आउटसाइड द सिटी गेट्स क्लैड इन द गार्ब ऑफ हर्मिट्स एंड सस्टेनिंग माय लाइफ ऑन वुडलैंड फेयर ऑफ फ्रूट्स एंड रूट्स माय आईज एवर ऑन द रोड इट ब्रिंग्स यू बैक टू अयोध्या I shall duly report myself to your sandals every day as to how I discharge my duties to your subjects. Verses twenty-four and twenty-five. Tava gamanam akangshan vasenvai nagarad bahi. Tava padukyorn yastha rajya tantra parantapa. चतुर्दशे तो संपूर्णे वर्षे अहानि रघुत्तमा न द्रक्ष्यामि यदि त्वाम तो प्रवेक्ष्यामि हूताशनम If on the first day of the 15th year I see you not here I shall enter the blazing pyre verse 26 तदेति च प्रतिज्ञाय तम परिश्वज्य सादरम शत्रुघ्नम च परिश्वज्य भारतम चेदम अब्रवीत बी इट सो रिप्लाइड रामा एंड क्लास्ड भारत एंड शत्रुघ्न टू हिज चेस्ट देन ही स्पोक टू भारत एस फॉलोज वर्सेस 27 एंड 28 मातरम रक्ष कैकेयी मा रोषम कुरुता प्रति मया च सीताय चप्तसि रघुसत्तम उश्रुपरीताक्ष भ्रातर विससर्ज भारत क्राइड ही Watch over your mother carefully and serve her humbly banish from your heart all anger where she is concerned swear it by me and by Sita he gave them leave to depart his eyes brimming with tears verse 29 sapaduke ti bharata pratapavan svalankrite samparigrahya dharmavit प्रदक्षिणम चैव चकार राघवम चकार चैव उत्तम नाग मूर्धनी भारत डेकोरेटेड द सैंडल्स एज वेल एज ही कुड वर्शिप देम ड्यूली एंड प्लेस देम ऑन द स्टेट एलिफेंट वर्स 30 अथ अनुपूर्वयात प्रतिपूज्य तम जनम गुरुम च मंत्री प्रकृति तथा अनुज विसर्जयद राघव वंश वर्धन स्थित स्वधर्मे हिमवान एव अचल मीन वायल राम हु स्टेट फास्ट डिवोशन टू धर्म माइट वेल बी द डिस्पेयर ऑफ द हिमालय टुक लीव ऑफ द ऋषिज ब्राह्मणस मिनिस्टर्स गवर्नर सिटीजन्स एंड प्रिंसेस पेइंग देम ड्यू रिस्पेक्ट एंड काइंडनेस वर्स थर्टी वन तम मातरो बाष्प गृहीत कंटो दुखेन न आमंत्रय तुम ही शेको सतु एव मात्र अभिवाद्य सर्वा रुदन कूटी स्वाम प्रविवेश राम द रॉयल लेडीज व चोक्ट बाय द ब्लाइंडिंग टीयर्स एंड कुड नॉट गिव हिम दिंग ब्लेसिंग्स 
Raghunath saluted them all and entered his cottage in tears, all unmanned. So this is the conclusion of this particular chapter wherein Rama once again asks Bharata to rule the kingdom. Bharata says that Rama's sandals that have the power to protect this entire universe is going to be protecting Ayodhya till Rama returns to the kingdom. And Rama very happily gives him the sandals. And now everyone is going back to Ayodhya. The parting has happened and Rama has promised Bharata that he will return after 14 years of exile. Also, another important point to note is that Rama harbors no ill effects towards Kaiki. In fact, he advises Bharata over and over again that Kaiki should be treated with great respect and honor and Bharata should obey her and serve her as is his due. Another very important point is that there are other versions of Ramayana that mention that Janaka and his wife, Sita's mother and father, arrive at Chitrakuta and Janaka is the one who determines that Bharata's love for Rama supersedes Rama's love for Dharma and therefore Bharata won but Bharata should do exactly what Rama has asked him to do and therefore Rama's wishes are carried out. But Janaka does not appear in Chitrakuta. This is not mentioned in Valmiki Ramayana. This is a very important thing to note and Janaka appears at the very beginning of uh, Balakant during the Putraka Mishti Yagna. He appears during the marriage of Sita and Rama, obviously. And then later on, during the coronation, he is there, as we know from Uttarakhand. Janaka does not appear in Chitrakuta. In the next chapter, we will see how Bharata returns to Ayodhya via the ashrama of sage Bharadwaj. Mangalam Kushlindraya Mahaniya Gunapti Chakravarti Dhanurjaya Sarva Bhumaya Mangalam